How you doing today, sir? Doing right. How are you, man? Good. I'm Big Al. Big Al's Car nice Audio. To meet Welcome. You. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Well, welcome to the store, man. Thanks. Thanks. I like the store. It looks beautiful. Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, I saw you drove an F-150 in here. Yeah. How long? How long you had that thing? It's been at least three years. Okay, so you've uh, had it for a while. Yeah. You've done, haven't done a lot of modifications to Not it. Not a whole lot, man. Okay. What brings you into the store today? Well, I've been driving around, and you know, I get lost every now and then. I try to use my phone for navigation, yeah. but. I don't have nav in that thing. It's my work truck, so. Okay, work truck. What do you do for work? I'm actually do. Uh, I actually do chimney sweeping, really? and repair. Yeah. You're remarkably clean. Absolutely. Yeah. They you call must it a shower the, just for me today. Yes. Great. <laughs> just for you, man. What do you do on the weekends? You take it out for fun? Actually, I, I bobsled. Bobsled. Yeah, That's I have unusual. This big, I have this huge trailer that holds my bobsled. So. Wow. Yeah. Like a big double axle big, enclosed. Huge. Wow. Yeah, like so five you tell people. That. Yeah. You've got unusual hobbies. I'm a uh, semi-professional goat milker. Actually, oh yeah. On the weekend. So I've got kind That's of an odd hobby too. I'm afraid it does that. Oh okay. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We can, we're going to get along great. Right. I feel it. Well, I tell you what, man. We have the the best, the single best navigation that you can get for your truck in this store. We're oh, the yeah. only one in the region that carries this. Can I show it to you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's check it out. So check out Alpine's 9-inch Restyle Dash system. Wow, that's crazy. That is the biggest, baddest avian you can possibly buy for Absolutely. your vehicle. It's first time I've seen something that big. Yeah, now what's neat about what Alpine does with this system, I mean, obviously it's a big screen, right? Biggest you can buy, but it also, they integrate the hard keys into the bezel, mm. and the bezel is completely stylized for each vehicle. This one's for a GM truck, and I'll show you the one for your vehicle in a few minutes, okay. but they're all designed specifically to look right in your particular truck. And they've got a lot of great features. Now, you mentioned some of the things that you do with your truck, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, your hobbies. Bobsledder. Bobsledding. Now, what if I told you you could watch your bobsled videos right on this unit from your phone? Really? Yeah. All you have to do is tap the HDMI button. I've got my smartphone plugged in. Oh, wow. Okay? I'm streaming this video directly through that connection, that HDMI connection, and it's playing right there on wow, my screen. full screen and everything. Yeah. So, I can do that. I can also play traditional media. Um, like a disc, for example, whoa, 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 DVD or crazy. CD. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. That's a whole unit that swings down. Back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your, your uh, navigation SD card's back there as well for updates. Okay. Now, beyond just the actual beautiful physical integration, we also electrically integrate the system. Mm. Your truck has sync, right? Right. So you have some voice-activated features oh, yeah, like the yeah. media player, right? Played around with it a little bit. But. Yeah. Now, it allows you to keep those sync features oh, in okay. your particular Ford. So when you hit the info button, I can actually tap right into uh, what's going on in the truck. So besides just retaining the features, I'm reading some of the information mm -hmm. off the truck's computer. Like, for example, tire pressure. I can see the each individual tire pressure. I can see my battery mm -hmm. voltage. You know, I can see if, my, uh, if I have a check engine code. A lot of times it's something simple, like you left your gas cap right, off right. at the gas station. You can go ahead and reset that right in there. You don't yeah, have to I get, back I get to the, the warnings, but I've never seen the actual... Uh PSI on the Exactly, screen. yeah. Awesome. So you can see what each corner yeah. in the truck is doing. It's really nice. You can even set up your own gauges. So if you want to have a customized oh, gauge wow. package, it shows exactly what yeah. um, engine features or drivetrain um, parameters you want to see. You can do that on there. We can even integrate a camera. Now, does your vehicle have the factory camera? No. It doesn't? No. Okay. So we can add an aftermarket oh, camera. Oh, great, yeah. Which is, yeah, we usually do that as part of this package. Oh, okay. You know, with trucks, it's yeah. so nice to have a backup camera. Yeah, when I got to load that, that big bobsled on back there. Exactly. When you Hard. put your trailer, yeah. yeah I, I mean, like three people to help me with it. Exactly. You'll you'll love that feature because when you're backing up, you can you can see where the ah, hitch and the ball line up. Yeah. You can do it yourself every got time. Got it. Got it. Now the way that this one integrates a camera is above and beyond some of the other systems that we sell because it actually has a direct hard mm -hmm. key. Most all the systems, when you put the truck in reverse mm -hmm. and back up, the camera comes okay. on. But it's nice to be able to check your camera sometimes when you're driving yeah. forward, especially if you're towing a trailer. You, know, you want to see your connections exactly. and see what's going on back there. You just tap the camera button, uh, it brings your camera right up on the screen. Wow. So now you can see you know, if your if you're chains, if, you're, uh, if your lighting connection, mm. if, it's, if it's hooked up correctly. So that's all good stuff. You've also got a Bluetooth integration. Mm. Obviously, you know, Bluetooth is a law that's, that's becoming very uh, prevalent in a lot of states. This is great because it pulls up all of your phone functionality and puts it right on this screen. So you can do everything via touch screen and be able to select what you want. We've even set up some of the favorite people that I call the most yeah, yeah. on this system. Now, um, one of my favorite functions of, of this particular Alpine system is the favorites. The reason I like that, um, a lot of my customers like it, is because it pulls up the things that you do the most often. For example, I can have any mix of different mm -hmm. functions that the unit does on this home screen. So I can say, I can have uh, my homie's house, right? I can have my home, right? I can have my shop, mm -hmm. my work, right? Even my wife, Alberta's phone number, directly Alberta. on there. Yeah, that's my wife. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, right? Yeah. Weird. 
okay? I can have my kind of favorite music on there, PJR. I just push yeah. that, boom, wow. and there we go, okay? So all of those functions are, are basically set up on the system through that favorite screen, and I can even actually um, pull up the uh, camera through that as well, mm. okay? So that can be set up any way you want. We'll show you how to set that up in your actual vehicle. So would you like to see the one that's for your truck? Absolutely. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it. So this is the exact system for your Ford F-150. Wow. It's the X-01 IFD-1. <clears throat> see how it integrates into the dash? You can see the yeah, it dedicated like hard keys in the bottom, right? That's crazy. That yeah. looks really clean. Yeah. And uh, we actually just did one of these. You can see here, um, this is one that we did just uh, about a week ago. Wow. So that shows you what That's it looks impressive. like installed. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice system. Wow, it really, really is. Good. Now this one, uh, we do kind of a similar package on these. Mm -hmm. This is about $3,000 installed with the camera. Okay. Three thousand. Yeah, so it's it's a good amount of money, right? It's I mean, a good it's chunk. but it's a premium system, right? This yeah. is really the best, uh, you know, the best you can get. The other thing, we have this in stock. We happen to have an installation uh, bay open today, so we can get this installed and ready to go today for you. Okay. Mm. Not sure, man. That three thousand is a big chunk. That's a that's a couple chimneys, man. I hear you. Um, you have a card? Yeah, sure, absolutely. That's me. Thanks, Big L. All right, well, I appreciate you coming into Thanks the store. Thanks for the time. Appreciate right, it, man. man. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey, Big L. Hey, sir. Welcome back. Good Chris, you, right? Man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good good to have you back. You know, I went home that night, and I just can't sleep. I've been thinking about that thing every day for the last three weeks. It gets stuck in your head, doesn't it? Oh, my it? God. I can't. Food lost taste. <laughs> Colors I can't even see. You know, it sounds like you're ready to get this thing installed. Yeah, I think I am. All right, Chris. Let's We're going to get right on it. We're going to do it today. Sweet. Thanks for your business, Thanks, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out in just a few. Sweet. Thanks. All right. All right, Chris. Holy system's installed. Holy crap. That looks amazing. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That is ridiculous. It looks better than what Ford would have ever thought to put <laughs> Absolutely. In absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. The, the chrome trim matches yeah. all your, your like trim. Like the piano black. Yeah, it really fits the dash really well. So I want to go through some of the basic setup features just to get you started. I'll show you how some of the main features work, and then um, um, we'll get you on the road. So first thing we want to do is pair your Bluetooth phone. So I see you've got an iPhone. Sure do. Yeah, so go ahead and pick settings. Okay. And go into your Bluetooth. And you should see a device called Alpine Navi. Navi. There it is. Click on that. Yep, click pair. Okay. And I'm going to click OK on my end. Now your phone's going to be paired. Awesome. So what connected. you can see, yeah, it shows connected on here. You can see down here, you've got your Bluetooth streaming icon, your Bluetooth hands-free, um, your battery level. You can see it's blinking because your battery is getting low. Yeah. Yep. And then you've got a signal level down here. So that's how you know that you're going to be, you're paired up. So now that we're paired, we'll set up some of the main functions like the favorites. Um, so that's this star button over here. So we're going to start um, by clicking start. We're going to enter your name. They call me Big Asian Chris normally. So. <laughs> How about this? B A C. That's, I like that. Big Asian Chris. Okay. Um, and then we're going to link your Bluetooth phone. So there's your phone, iPhone 6. Click that. So there you go, Big Asian Chris. There's nice. your favorites. Now that, it just gives you three kind of basic settings, and okay. then you can add or add or modify each one of those. So you just hit, click the plus button. And go. we'll go to audio visual, for example, and we'll add HDMI. So as soon as I do that, it pops up. Now, notice it's grayed out. That's because we don't have the HDMI right. connected. As so soon as you, you connect watch, it. Like how you were showing me earlier. Exactly. Oh, you, can, you can watch those videos right off your phone um, with, that, with that Apple cable. And you can also edit each one of these. So you can uh, click on one, for example. And, you know, we can make this whatever we want. We can make it wrap. Or you can name it the actual name of the station, whatever you want to do. And there you go. Oh, sweet. Hit OK. So now, no matter what source you're on, all you have to do is tap your star button, and it brings you back to that page. And you can enter as many of those you, as you want on there. OK? Very cool. You got your volume up and down here. That's pretty straightforward. OK? And that also works on your steering wheel. Your okay. mute button, which uh, just clicks uh, click that on and off to mute. As we mentioned, your audio always takes you back to your current audio source. If you click it again, it'll actually switch to the next available mm -hmm. audio source. So you can see there's three, four that are up right now, and then it'll go right back to, uh, to our uh, radio, okay? The nav button, pretty straightforward. It clicks, uh, you oh, click nice. on that, there's your navigation, and we can go in here and enter find address. 
that'll get you right into your uh, your address menu. You can type in city, street, and state, and you can uh, find your address that way. Now your phone button pulls up, you know, your Bluetooth uh, phone settings. So you can go into your contact list. You can set up uh, your favorites in here. You can even dial directly from the system by just typing on the keypad. Very cool. So you don't even need to have your phone out of your pocket. As soon as you get in the truck, it's going to pair automatically, Sweet. and off you go. And then finally, your open and close. That's this button here. That's going to allow you to eject the disc. Yeah, that's yeah. clean. Nice, right? Your friends are going to love that yeah, when they see that. Isn't that cool? And close it back up and off you go. So that kind of covers uh, some of the basics of the system. Do you have any uh, questions before you head out? No, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's pretty easy to use, and you covered most of the stuff I use. So. If you have any questions, you've got my information. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, call me anytime. Appreciate it, man. All right, Chris. Thanks. Enjoy. Hi guys, I'm Steve Brown, AKA Big Allen. Thanks for watching our X009 FD1 sales instructional video today. Now the sales process you've just seen is one that's been proven by many of our most successful nine inch restylers across the country. And it basically breaks down into four steps. It's greet, ask, show, and close. Now let's take each one of those and see how we did that in this particular sale. First of all, the greet. We're going to stand up, we're going to walk out around the counter, and we're going to go and meet our customer, shake his hand, introduce ourselves, welcome that customer to our store. That breaks the ice, so that way you can have a nice conversation during the rest of the phases. That leads us right into the ask. The ask is very important because this is the first qualification, and this allows us to determine what types of features the customer is really interested in. It also tells us what vehicle that customer drives. So in the case of Chris, we know that he drives an F-150 pickup, and we know that he tows with that pickup. So we can use some of those keys to basically help us with the demonstration in the show phase. Now the show phase, first thing, very important about the show phase is you must be confident when delivering the product. So that means you need to practice. Get out in front of the product, play with it, learn all the best features about it, and be able to confidently demonstrate those to your customer, okay? Now, in the case of Chris, we demonstrated things like the backup camera and how easy it is to connect to his trailer, as well as the favorites functions because he uses a lot of different types of media and we wanted to integrate those seamlessly into one page. Finally, the close. Now, as you saw in this video, the close doesn't always go like you think it will. Some customers are going to walk out of your store and that happens on a, on a regular basis. That's okay because what we did in Chris's case is we made a great presentation and it caused him to come back. It caused him to think about the system, to do a little bit of shopping online, and to come back and decide that we are the stereo shop that he wants to do business with. So thanks for watching our video. Happy selling.